Do you want no delay and low ping in Fortnite? Well, if you do, then this video might be for you. In this video, I'm going to be going over all of my settings and how to get zero delay in Fortnite Chapter 5. If you're ready for the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Moving on into the video settings, for window mode, I play on full screen just because these two give you delay. And for resolution, I play on native just so it can look good for when I record. But it is better to play on uh, something lower as it'll give you better FPS. V-Sync, I leave it to off because it just caps my FPS as something I don't like. Frame rate limit, I put it to whatever my monitor is. So if your monitor is 140 hertz, I would put it at 140. If it's 240, I would put it at 240. Um, for rendering mode, I have it on performance mode just because it gives me the least delay. And in my performance mode settings, I put my 3D resolution on 100, uh, view distance on medium, textures on low, meshes on low. Some people like their meshes on high, I just keep them as low for the least delay. For lower ping, I would just put the server that has the least amount of ping next to it. Um, for me, it's NA East, but for you, it's probably something different. Also, using Ethernet's going to help with your ping a lot. When I play on Wi-Fi, I get up to 20 extra ping. So that's why I just play on Ethernet. For my HUD, I keep everything on default, except I change damage numbers to list. My damage number scale, I keep them at 125, just because it looks clean in montages. And for my HUD scale, I keep it at 77. That way, the HUD isn't just in my face. For sensitivity, this is what I use on keyboard. I feel like it's just really good for aim. All these settings should help a lot with delay. Once you have it, you can just keep on grinding Fortnite and become a Fortnite pro. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.